tell you how to do chest pain. Can you tell me your name, sir? This looks and sounds like an emergency situation in an emergency ward or ICU of a hospital, but it's not. Sir? Let's make him suddenly go unconscious to get their attention. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put him into a cardiac arrest here. I'm gonna put this very evil rhythm up onto their screen. You can see a change here on mine. And up there, silence. And you can hear the alarm start to sound. This is a simulation in the Human Factors Lab at the Nanaimo Regional District Hospital. Simulation Man, or Sim Man, and this lab is the only one like it on Vancouver Island. It is um, the future, both in terms of formative evaluation, but also licensing and summative evaluation. The generation after me, um, it will likely be a requirement, just like it is for a pilot to land a plane with one engine in a simulator once a year to show competency, future physicians will have to show that they can run a resuscitation and do some complex tasks to maintain their licensure and show competency. Sim man breathes, blinks and coughs. He can pee, accept fluids, bleed and go into cardiac arrest. And how the medical residents react to him is all recorded on a timeline. There are also cameras and audio recorders in the lab. I think it's the way of the future. I think the, the tradition of sitting down in a lecture hall and learning medicine and reading a book and watching a PowerPoint presentation, I think that the generation behind us won't uh, see as much of that. I think we learn by, by using all of our senses and uh, getting that immediate feedback like you do in this environment. And the ability to watch yourself you know, step back from that suspended disbelief and to, to come at it 15 minutes later when you're not as stressed and to see yourself is a feedback loop that hasn't really existed before uh, this decade and it's, a, it's effective. Shocking. Shock delivered. Sky Kriba is a resident at Nanaimo General Hospital in the Family Practice Program. She says the Human Factors Lab is a valuable learning opportunity. I think we're really lucky here in Nanaimo to have this opportunity. It's a really unique opportunity and we have some pretty great local champions here in our faculty who put a lot of time and effort into making sure our education is above and beyond what most people get. Traditionally, uh, medical people have been taught in, a, in, a, in the way of an apprenticeship. And so as a young doctor, you're brought into a real situation which is not only complex, but it is someone on the edge of life and death. And there's an expectation that as you advance in your training, you just do more in that environment. And at some point, the safety net is so far below you that you're making very important decisions in a real situation at a relatively um, uh, low level of experience. And so our hope is to create complex environments and rare events and train our physicians in a completely safe environment. But in a uh, doctor-patient situation which reflects that uh, extreme in physiology. They're going through a little sequence to ensure that the tube is in the right place. The lab here at NRGH costs about $250,000. Simmen takes up about 40000 of that. And here I can see that they got it in the right hole because there's, uh, there's some air coming into the lung. The idea began in 2006 and a variety of funding sources have made it a reality. The goal of the Human Factors Lab and Simulation Curriculum is to reduce error in patient care at all levels. In addition to training a functional unit with doctors, nurses and paramedics, Simman goes on road trips. So if we can uh, get some instructors and all this hardware into places like uh, Port Hardy or Port Alberni or Tofino or Cowichan District Hospital or Salt Spring, excellent. That is the highest fidelity simulation we can run. It's uh, with a healthcare team that is in their own environment with their own human resources with a little bit of technology mixed in. Uh, that's the goal. Sir, can you hear me? So while Sir? Sim Man slips into cardiac arrest or bears his leg for an IV, yes, that's how they really do it now, future doctors, nurses and paramedics are learning in an environment that's as close to real as possible. 
In Nanaimo for Shaw TV, I'm Kate Bergen.